I'd like to talk to you uh, a bit about the actual process because the Jersey system of government seems to be woefully overloaded, so there's certainly scope for the parishes to do more, but is the Guernsey states, is that overloaded with work? <coughs> We're overloaded with work in a way. I suppose the general trend over 10, 15, 20 years is towards um, parochial duties returning to the centre. We, we, it's unlikely the parishes will have will regain many planning powers. There's a possibility they could lose some of their existing powers in relation to waste. To a degree, How about things like licensing, license premises, licensing of entertainment? Is that um, parish or is that? They central? still advise on planning. They still have a role in advising the Royal Court on liquor licensing. Um, their role for the future in advising on Sunday trading is less certain. They, they certainly still have a role now, but there was much more diversity within that framework 10, 15 years ago than today. <coughs> because there's now a legal framework that covers the whole island. So for you as a states member elected to serve uh, quite a number of people, what's your week states work? How much? How many hours does it take you? Um, can vary. Um, in the weeks before Christmas, which is usually the busiest time of the year because of a build-up, I would say it can be as high as 80 hours a week. In other, in other times it would be like between 10 and 40. Uh, there's thinner periods in August and January and really busy periods between Easter and July and between September and December. I was amused at the last election that a whole 22 new members came in to the States. Many of them have part or full-time jobs and they consider that they can do those as well. I think they've had a rude awakening since the summer uh, because there are peaks and troughs. How many ministries are there here? <coughs> One more than Jersey. We have a chief minister, a deputy chief minister who is also a minister, and nine other ministers. Um, the major difference is that we have a separate, for the moment, culture and leisure ministry compared to education, sports and leisure in Jersey. Um, all the other ministries are similar to Jersey's. One role we don't have that Jersey have is the useful role of assistant chief minister, of which Jersey have a two. Uh, is it Senator Balash and Senator Routier? Okay. Uh, we, our deputy chief minister is effectively just a deputy chairman and to a certain extent an ambassador. Abroad. You haven't invented a foreign affairs minister yet then, or at least no. not under that name? No, not in that sense. We've got one or two senior members who regularly go abroad, but... Um, Incidentally, I just forgot to mention to you, and his names slipped through the net, the Lieutenant Governor, does he participate in any of this? He sits in the Assembly. Regularly? Regularly, almost daily, but he never speaks or comments politically. Do you have any thoughts on that? Um, each governor has generally been a popular figure. Um, I remember one governor a few moons ago would even fraternise with the state's members in a public bar afterwards <laughs> in the good old days before well, we as long as he his round, that would be okay. Um, I think the governor is seen as a dignified figure who represents the crown and the queen and does not engage in political controversies perhaps the only areas where they get sucked in would be on issues of SARC, if that is problematic, or on issues of deporting miscreants. Right. You're a backbencher, I presume? Yes. I sit on a ministerial board for Social Security, which is a different system from Jersey. And I used to sit on the scrutiny committee. And I... S and I'm chairman of one of the standing, uh, one of the special committees, vice chairman, formerly chairman of a standing committee, legislation select, 
which is a scrutinising committee, really. Is that sifting all legislation or anything that comes your way, or do you choose it's your subjects? reading, revising, and approving draft legislation that's to go before the states for what amounts to a, a, a second reading, because the first reading in Guernsey is the policy. Uh, we don't have the, quite the same system of Jersey states, and we don't have orders, uh, order papers. We have BA tars with a general agenda, which is, from my knowledge, is a very well produced document. Which is used to be 50p, and I've got it in this list. Yes, it's now two pound fifty. It prob the system we've got is probably easier to follow than the Jersey system. Uh, there are differences of approach. I'd say there was less of a division between left and right in Guernsey politics. We still, are, although our senior chairmen are called ministers, they only have limited ministerial executive powers. And really the title of minister is there for them to sit on the policy council and to ensure that they support the chief minister and when they're travelling abroad can be seen as the equivalent to other jurisdictions. They're not true ministers in the executive sense. There's a noticeable north-south divide, country-town divide in Jersey developing. Is that noticeable in Guernsey? Uh, when we had island-wide elections, similar people got in island-wide, but there was a distinct difference between the north of the island, which was more populist, and the country parts, which were more conservative and the town was a bit in between. Uh, our town probably has a very varied population with uh, some rich areas as well as some less affluent districts. Um, there, is a, there is a geographical difference. It's not insignificant that the current Chief Minister and most of his policy council represent St Peterport South which is high net worth property areas predominantly, and the southeast of the island. Uh, and that perhaps reflects the nature of the members who are elected, although it's not that obvious because there are ministers from other parts of the island. Party system, of course, doesn't feature us. No, we're all independent, probably more so than Jersey, where I believe some members were at one point involved with a left of centre party. We've got one leading politician who apparently is a member of UKIP in a broader context, but that doesn't reflect on his political views here, at least not his day-to-day -day work. They're looking at reorganising the Jersey system and they're looking <coughs> towards the Guernsey system. Is it a model to follow, do you think? No. I, 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 I think... If Jersey bit the bullet and went down a quasi-executive route, less so than the UK or the other man, I think the Jersey problem has been around the democratic mandate of the states and the legitimacy of the chief minister and the personalities of the different chief ministers and whether they will choose parish representatives to be ministers, all those kinds of issues. Uh, Guernsey has a more consensus-based approach where we've been obliged to work together, but our progress is extremely slow. I have actually in the past been in the minority who voted for a more executive system of government. Uh, in Jersey, after the uh, Clothier report, you basically ruled out the parochial electoral, electoral district changes, but took on the executive system. We did the opposite. We changed our electoral system, and but kept most of the old system intact. Because I'm aware you've got a plane to catch, I want to towards the end, but I just want to touch upon your recently, recently six months, I believe, have been elected as the, the disability. Uh, States member representing disability interests, which is rather unusual and novel. How are you getting on in that? Well, before I get into that, I'll just conclude on the island wide. I'd be sorry if Jersey lost its island wide representatives. 
If I had a say, I'd say get rid of some of the parish deputies, make the districts larger, perhaps keep the constables, although there's part of me that doesn't like the unification of the role. But I think it's part of the Jersey tradition. But I think if you go for all district deputies in Jersey, you will end up in a situation that we have as to what kind of plebiscite does the Chief Minister have. And in, in our case, for example, the Chief Minister before the current one was elected almost on a recount in his district. And the problems that we have with our system is very powerful politicians will never get more than one-seventh of the island's vote. So island-wide issues are not explored. And the problem of moving to an executive system whilst you retain districts is what is the mandate and where is the democracy and what is the connection between the voter and the policies and personalities are implemented. Well, if you look at my blog, you'll see I've been discussing these very issues with a selection of deputies. Anyway, moving back to my disability role, it's been a challenge. Um, I'm very honoured to receive the role. I've had a few challenges to overcome. You can't please all the people all the time. Generally speaking, the public are certainly more aware now than they were a year ago about disability, not just due to the Olympics and the Paralympics and to the charitable awards that have gone on both here and elsewhere. But I think we have seen noticeable victories such as the final creation of a ramp uh, near the town church and we can build on that for even better designs for the future. Uh, a victory in the Forest Parish over uh, facilities for the community centre there and I am aware that at both civil service and political level the politicians and civil servants are moving towards several strategies and reports that will make 2013 a much more informed year for disabled people. Have you had much dealing with the strategy which is coming next May? Is that? Uh... We've had a number of read-throughs into interdepartmental discussions um, points to flag up as well as a learning experience going around the parishes. I think Guernsey is possibly behind Jersey in terms of mobility access, in terms of quantities of social work and in terms of initial commitment to equalities legislation. But we are probably ahead of Jersey in terms of our voluntary sector in terms of uh, the media being on the side of the disabled and in terms of the research work that, 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 that's, that's going forward. So it would be an interesting bet as to whether Jersey or Guernsey gets modern up-to-date disability equality legislation first. Well, to have a dedicated officer employed, that's quite an achievement. We've got a dedicated officer involved. We also have a social policy coordinator and we, I'm having, with Emily, monthly surgeries where we see up to a dozen people island-wide with specific concerns and evidence. And I don't believe the state of Jersey has a disability champion. And I was elected by the equivalent of a thousand people in Jersey terms. And I think that's more than some mandates certain deputies get on your island. You've got how much longer for your term as uh, deputy? Uh, another three and a quarter years. Mm -hmm. So you've got three years of dedicated to disability issues as well? Yes, um, and working on the inside track, for the moment anyway, on areas of social security. Balancing a champion's role with a decision maker's role can be hard because we are subject to resource constraints and budgetary cutbacks like anywhere else. But um, I've, I've, I feel progress is being made and I've certainly had a, a lot of mostly positive feedback. We shall watch with interest and when you're in Jersey I hope you'll give us a talking to. Yes. Always grateful. <coughs>